years ago, Issa and I went on a search for the best cookie in New York, and both of us decided that it was here, Levain. But a lot of new places have opened in the past four years, and so we needed to do part two. But we decided to start here at Levain, kind of as just a benchmark, and see if there's anything else that can beat Levain or that comes close. Before we go in, just if you haven't seen the first video, make sure to watch that, because a lot of those places are still around, and they have very good cookies as well. If you're wondering when to come to Levain, this is 2 o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon. Empty. Also, this is the one on Amsterdam, which is much bigger and faster. Uh, the one down south from here is usually a little bit busier, but it's the original if you want that. <laughs> Look at that. We have had Levain many times before. This is Issa's favorite. How is it now? So good. <laughs> there is something special about this one that you just get like that butteriness, and it's like not gooey in the middle, but just like not quite baked in the middle, but most of it's baked. Crispy on the outside, big juicy raisins. It's a good cookie. My favorite is the chocolate with the peanut butter chips, but this is a close second for me. Those raisins are just so plump and sweet. That's a great oatmeal raisin cookie. I prefer the chocolatier one, but that is a really great cookie. Honestly, Levain is fantastic, and if you haven't been, you need to go. But let's go check out another cookie shop right now and see if there's anything even better. Why are we at Rock, huh? We're going to Chip City, and I'm really excited because I've heard a lot about this one. I smell it. <laughs> Yum. Thank you. Oh, there's some nice little cookies. Okay, there you go. So this is a quarter pound cookie? Yeah, quarter pound. That's good. I have chocolate on my face. Chocolate. Just a tiny bit. That's a really good cookie. There's just a lot of flavor in the dough. The chocolate is really strong. It's nice and nice and like perfectly warm, not too warm. It's not gooey in the center, but it is like underdone, of just slightly. So it is a little. Yeah, it's not as sweet. I don't get that like rush of sugar right off the bat, but I definitely want to go in for more. I like how chewy it is in the middle. It's got a little bit of crunch on the top. I definitely want to eat more. So. I have a feeling that I might come back to this and be like, oh, this was actually my favorite. I could finish this entire thing right now for sure. I could just scarf this whole thing down. We're in St. Mark's at Spot Dessert Bar. Um, it's like Asian influenced desserts. I haven't been here for about 10 years where I had a cheesecake that was delicious and I still think about it. I'm excited to try the cookies. down there this table this is a sit down place it is a dessert bar but if you just want a cookie you can go in there and just get a cookie to go with which is what we did warmed up recommended warmed up, warmed up. Yeah. we've got some outside seating too oh, thanks for one cookie that is a hot cookie smells really good it's too hot to eat we're waiting for it to cool down chocolate chips and oreos <laughs> <laughs> hey. look at that That is good. That is delicious though. Oh my god. He's gonna finish the whole cookie right now. <laughs> it's like buttery, it's warm, melted chocolate, the Oreo pieces are still a little bit crisp. Oh. The outside you can feel it's still crisp, the inside is still gooey. Chocolate is melty. Yeah. That is fantastic. It is like the right amount of chocolate. The texture is phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about that. It is the right sweetness. It's rich. It's You're just speechless because it's so good. No like words like for all it. The, all the good words that you can think of for a cookie. Like that. That's amazing. I don't know if any of the audio is usable because they got these speakers blaring in here. But it's a nice place to sit and eat if you want to be outside. We're on the Lower East Side at the Market Line. What are we here for? Best damn cookies. Let's go check it out. This is the corner of Delancey and Essex. And you're just going to come straight down these steps. Once you come down the stairs, you're going to go up forward. And then Best Damn Cookies just around the corner here. Ample Hills is on the other side of this, which is amazing. So get some cookies, get some ice cream. Fantastic snack. <laughs> Microwave, warm it up. Uh, 
OG chocolate chip from Best Damn Cookies. It is soft and like falling apart. Nice, it's a lot thinner, obviously, as you can see, than a lot of the other cookies that we've had. I mean, you can see how flexible it is. That's just gonna be gooey gooey. So chocolate is definitely a dark chocolate, so it's got less of a sweet flavor than a lot of the other cookies. But the cookie dough is, I don't know, it's just rich. It just melts in your mouth. I like that a lot. It's good. I'm really excited about this. This is a cookie that was born out of the pandemic, so. It's good. It's almost like it has like a citrus or cinnamon or like something else, like making it a little bit different than your regular chocolate chip cookie. Yeah. I love a thin cookie, chewy, chewy thin cookie though, and that. This All right, came uh, five or six blocks over to Christy Street. Gooey on the inside. We're here for happy hour. An awesome Help bake it, Kai? Ooh. Whoa. I like this piece of big mom. Is it ooey gooey on the inside? Yep. Say that's pretty gooey on the inside. That looks delicious. I took too big a bite again. <laughs> okay, it's milk chocolate. It's not overly sweet though. Wait. I think it actually would do really well with ice cream. The flavor isn't amazing to me, but I love how gooey it is. I would eat that. Especially with ice cream, like you were saying, these. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that like I think it needs the sweetness of the ice cream, and especially yeah. like that it's gooey. It would like the center would like melt into some of the ice cream, and then you'd get like the outer edge, which would be like kind of crispy and chunky. It would be really good with ice cream. Yeah. I think on its own though, like not my favorite, but it's ice cream. Yeah, but it's still gooey, so they, they nailed that, that's for sure. Yeah. These are both just a couple minutes away from the Tenement Museum down here in Lower East Side, so combine that for the little touristy trip. Good treat. What's up? We're in Grand Central, and we're headed to Jacques Torres, so what you're gonna do is find the Lexington Avenue side and go down the passageway. It's the last thing on your right. It's a really pretty cookie. It is really pretty. My type of cookie. Just gonna say that. So it's got like discs of chocolate in it. So they're really big pieces. I really like it. It's not, it's not crispy. It's not chewy. It's like a cookie. <laughs> oh, I'm there. I like the hit of sugar. It's really good. It's very sweet. It yeah. doesn't, but it doesn't feel like overly sweet or overly chocolatey to me. Like there is so much chocolate inside of it, but this is a really good mix between the dough and the chocolate. And this is not enough. <laughs> uh, a lot of the other cookies, you know, like the quarter pound cookies or you know, Levain or something like that. There's one cookie we can share between three of us, but I feel like I want more of this. Uh, so I don't know if it's because it's thin or because it's that good, but I, I do want more and we just finished it. I just really like chocolate. Chocolate is a chocolatier. So there's a bunch of different types of chocolate, caramels, whatever else you could ever want inside. What do you see? Ultra espresso. I'm so excited. This is like, I feel like kind of cult following because it's at a cafe, not like a cookie shop. Uh, I've been really excited because I've heard a lot about this one. chocolate in the center it's like there. It's dark chocolate too. I'm really excited. It's so chocolatey in the middle there. Mm. So chocolatey. I feel like that's the first thing you see. Like yeah. no cookie, just chocolate. That's all I taste really, is just chocolate and just a little bit of dough for texture. <laughs> I don't taste the cookie at all, I just taste the chocolate. Chocolate with a little bit of cookie. Yeah, right? What I really like about it, it gives you like the best of both worlds. So you have like the crunchiness on the outside, almost like a little caramelized, and then also like the gooeyness on the very inside. It's a good sharing cookie for people who like crunchy and chewy. And chocolate. And chocolate. Yeah, that's, that's a good cookie. I actually wish there was more cookie, which is I think the first time I've ever said that. I wish there were more cookie and less chocolate. He eats chocolate chips out of the bag, so that's, a, <laughs> that's really unique. But yeah. Really good cookie, especially if you're a chocolate lover. Go get the yeah, Culture okay. Espresso chocolate okay, chip. Great.
we're here to go to Seven Grams Cafe. I don't know a lot about this. I just heard they have a really good cookie that's kind of like gooey on the inside, good ingredients. Just gotta try it. Feels really buttery. Oh, nice crumble. I'll just take that. Meow. Meow. It's not as sweet. It's really good. It's like not too crispy on the outside and really chewy. I'm kind of nuttier than the other ones we've had. Like, no nuts in it, but just a nuttier flavor. But I like it. You know the bins of cookie dough that you get at the grocery store? Things like that to me, which I love. So I used to just eat that cookie dough. I like it a lot. Like, the top and the bottom are, are like solid. Not crunchy, but they, they hold their form really well, but the inside really is gooey. I don't know how they did that. It tastes like really like high quality ingredients in it. Yeah. Okay, we're at South Street Seaport here to try Funny Face Bakery. This is right on Fulton Street in the pedestrian area. It's like right down next to the Pier 17. Watch oh, oh, drop, drop. Oh, hey, sugar. So they're known for their sugar cookies with the faces on them. I think you can customize these and get whatever face you want on your cookie. But they also have regular cookies. Oh, now that's gooey. Good. Look at that. It's very doughy. Like it's almost more cakey than chewy, this one, which is really interesting. But a nice crisp outside. Very, very chocolatey and melty and gooey inside. So we came outside because the music was a little loud. Here, hi, do you want this piece? Mm, look at that chocolate. It's not as dense and chewy as I thought it was going to be. It's a lot lighter and fluffier. Um, makes a really good cookie. We also got a s'mores cookie, which I'm going to try now. I wanted the one with all marshmallows on it. So. That is so good. That's better than the chocolate chip for sure. Yeah. I, that is really good. S'mores one does not need to be paired with ice cream. Like mm. it is a good cookie on its own. Yeah. Chocolate chip one. I'd grab some ice cream for that one. Yeah. So we're here in Clinton Hill in Brooklyn at the Good Batch. A lot of amazing food. Look at this watercolor cake down here. We are here for the cookies. They're also known for their ice cream sandwich cookies. Mm. So we got two cookies here because we couldn't decide. This one, the peanut butter fully loaded, and I'm really into the salt on top. And then of course we had to get a chocolate chip, so we did that. We had the Good Batch ice cream sandwiches like years ago at Smorgasburg, but they didn't look like this. The cookies for the ice cream sandwiches, she was saying, are the same recipe, but they make them smaller and thinner. So these clearly are much thicker and Chewier. There are like full size peanuts in this cookie. Oh really? Yeah. That is good though. There's like some sort of caramelization on something. Pretzel, salty, chocolate chippy. It's not sweet enough for me. I mean it tastes peanut buttery which is nice. So if you're looking for a peanut butter cookie that has some like good texture to it, some substance to it, that's a good one. Like it feels legitimately like fully loaded. Like you are yeah. filling up on this cookie. Yeah. That's like a, a meal of a peanut butter cookie. It's good. Tastes like a soft version of like famous Amos cookies. Hmm, tastes homemade. Yeah. Yeah. Just good. It's really good. I like the sweetness. Okay, we're on the Upper West Side on West 80th Street. We're at Jamie's Life Changing Baked Goods. Life Changing because she was actually homeless and struggling with addiction, and then she just dove right into baking, learned how to make these cookies, and they are phenomenal, and we're excited to try them. I love this. So Kai's got his Funfetti. Kai, how's that? Mm, oh. Okay, good. Issa got one of their famous ones. It's a pie crust cookie. So it's got pie crust on the bottom and like a crumble on top and then is filled and this is a blueberry lemon. Oh. I'm really excited for this. I feel like this is like the best of both worlds. What, both worlds? Pie and cookie. Those are two good worlds. Oh my gosh. It's like buttery pie crust on the bottom and you instantly get that buttery and like crumble flakiness and it's just like jam packed with filling and then the top is a crumble. Oh my gosh, that's seriously. I could eat every single one of these. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's so full of flavor. The filling, uh, this is, ah, uh, why? <laughs> the jam, the filling is really good. I really like that. It is sweet, it is, tastes like 
you made like homemade berry jam. Like put it inside a cookie. Yeah, no, it's it's really good. This is the half baked chocolate chip. It's fully baked, but like ooey gooey. It's gooey, and it is definitely soft in the middle there. But that is great. Mm hmm. Do you like it? I love it. That's a good cookie. Like it is the perfect texture, squishiness in the middle, like the right amount of chocolate for me. Like yeah, it's, that's perfectly balanced. That is great. That's really great. How do they keep this gooey? These were not warmed up. Like this is just like right out of the the counter display. That is a good cookie. Right. There's got to be like at least two or three different types of chocolate in here because there's like little discs. And there's chips, and it's gooey. It's Wait, soft, it's got like a nice little golden on the outside. This is a good one. That is so good. So good. 10 out of 10, highly recommend that. <laughs> He's just going in to tell him that they were so good. On top of the cookies being delicious, the, the guy working in there, so friendly. Like. By far the friendliest customer service that we've had of any of the cookie like, shops that we've not been to. Feel like New York when you walk in there. No. <laughs> Man, that that was such a great experience. Good job, Janie. This is that's awesome. We started this video on a mission to see if anything could beat Levain, and it did. Yeah. Honestly, I think two beat Levain in my mind. You still have to go to Levain. It's, it's amazing. still delicious yeah. and amazing. So second to the, to the best sour top cookie is Spot. Spot Dessert Bar, one in Flushing and one on, in St. Mark's. It's and just so good. It was buttery and like you could taste the Oreo, the chips. It was That is delicious though. Oh my god. Our top favorite cookie that honestly should have the reputation that Levain has. I think everybody should go there when you're in New York. It's Janie's. Yeah. You gotta go to Janie's. Amazing. Yeah, that's what stood out for me. The pie crust cookies. You had the pie on them. They were crunchy. They were like the buttery top, the crust. I don't like pies because of the crust, but that cookie was delicious. And then honestly, that chocolate chip cookie is one of the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had. I think it's better than Levain's. I think it's better than the ones I make at home. My mom's recipe. That is a good cookie. Definitely check out Janie's, definitely check out Spot, and definitely go Levain. So those are our top three cookies in New York. Uh, you can't go wrong there. Your mouth will be happy, your stomach will be happy. <laughs> You'll be happy, your brain will be happy. Your brain and your heart will agree. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you around. And before you say it, look, we know insomnia. We love insomnia. They are fantastic cookies. They're really great, but you can get them anywhere. It doesn't have to be in New York. And so we disqualified them from the best cookie in New York City because although, yes, they are here in the city, you can get them anywhere. The rest of these cookies are worth coming to New York City for.